Do you have a uh, any thoughts on the direction of silver at this point? I mean, obviously, people feel like it and gold, you know, have been uh, should be moving higher. And I know you said at one point that you were more bullish on silver than gold. And gold is now, I think, it dropped below even seventeen hundred dollars an ounce recently. Yeah, uh, I think it's back up to seventeen twenty five as we as we speak. Look, trying to guess where they're, who's going to be buying and who's going to be selling these things. It's very tough, but um, the lower they go, the more I like them. So that's all I can say. Makes sense. And also, I mean, a big reason why they've gone lower is because the dollar has been so incredibly strong. Like it's, you know, uh, it's just been crushing the currencies. Only strong relative to other currencies. Relative to real goods, it's still losing value at 10 to 15 percent per year, notwithstanding the fact that cyclically commodity prices have fallen, but they're still printing up dollars by the trillions. So, you know, you can't listen to today's news to determine what's going to happen tomorrow morning uh, or next week with these commodity prices. But yeah, I think now's a very good time to buy uh, Canadian silver maple leaves or U.S. What do we call them in the U.S.? The American Eagles. Eagles. American Eagles, right? Great time to buy them, and great time to buy small gold coins. Well, I happen to, you know, I'm talking my book, but you know, I do what I tell people to do. Those are Canadian quarter ounce maple leaves. There's more, but you know, now's a good time to buy them.